In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Harvard professor known as Dr. David Sinclair. Dr. Sinclair has been consistently criticized as promoting highly hyperbolic and exaggerated claims about the um, increase of lifespan and in particular about sirtuins and resveratrol by um, Jeff Flyer, a, another professor at Harvard and the Dean of the School of Medicine, former Dean of the School of Medicine at Harvard. He's been criticized by an expert in the field, Charles Brenner, uh, who's recently shown through some comprehensive threads on Twitter that some of the core claims on which Dr. Sinclair rests his fame are um, falsified in the field. Um, but in this particular video, I'm going to discuss one of the exaggerated and ridiculous claims he made about a, I think, 2018 or 2019 single arm unblinded trial using metformin, DHA, and growth hormone. He claimed that it uh, implied that uh, one would become immortal if one did the things that were done in this trial. Let's take a listen. Yeah, and at first I said two and a half years, come on, that's not much. But then I realized if you do that every year, or even every two years, you're immortal. So, as one can hear, characteristic for him, he claims that the reversal in biological age in this one trial, a not a double blind, not a randomized controlled trial, a trial without a control group, looking at one hallmark of aging, DNA methylation, that's not causally been shown to increase lifespan if you reverse DNA methylation in any randomized control trial or any sort of experimental setting as far as I'm aware. Um, he, he then claimed that uh, you might become immortal if you do this treatment. He makes these kinds of claims because they're incredible, they get him attention, and they make him money. And um, they're dangerous, as Charles Brenner points out. Administration of growth hormone in experimental models, mental models actually reduces lifespan. This kind of thing must stop. Thanks for watching.